So somebody wrote to me and said, I have a CS degree, computer science degree, and I've been trying for three years to get a job and I still can't get a job. So what's the problem? Well, first of all, I would have to talk to you, and see what you can do, look at your skill sets. I would guess it's much more, it's less about skills, technical skills. It could be about social skills. It could be your resume is not built properly. It could be that you're applying to jobs that you're not qualified for. It's hard to say off the top of my head. A good school should be able to mentor you in that regard in terms of getting jobs. So if you are applying for jobs and uh, you're doing interviews but you're not getting the jobs, you should ask the people who are not hiring you, why didn't you hire me? Can you let, give me some ideas what you were looking for? What, what was I missing? Number one, we'll, we'll take a step back. Look at your resume, you know, have somebody review your resume. You may want to check out ChatGPT and see what they say. Plug it in, say, hey, what do you mean my resume? Uh, you know, or ask ChatGPT for great resumes for C++ coders, or give me an example, a great resume for a JavaScript coder, etc. cetera. Uh, so look at your resume, maybe that's cool. In the meantime, if you're applying for jobs and you can't get any, maybe you should just try to do some free software development work for some local nonprofit or small business. Maybe offer yourself to do some stagiaire work, meaning uh, go work for a company for free for like uh, four months, three months, six months, whatever it is. The hardest job to get is always the first job. And you have to understand when you're coming out of school or you have little to no experience, when a company brings you in, the company is taking a risk because they're gonna to have to train you most likely. And it's a headache for them because they might train you and put resources and effort into training you. And then six months later, you may quit. And then they've lost all that investment in you. So you have to understand that you have to present a pretty compelling package, if you will, when you're approaching, the, when you're trying to get your first job. I've always been reluctant to hire people right out of school. I've done it. And it's always a, tr it's always been a trouble for me. It's always been trouble for me because you have to deal with, you know, they're new. They don't know how to, most people don't know how to conduct themselves professionally when they first get out of school. Uh, when they get out of school, they have at best academic knowledge. Typically, some people have some really good skills. Those that have really good skills coming out of school is because they've done a lot of work on the side, typically building things uh, for themselves or for, for, for friends, or, or maybe they have a side clients, you know, installing WordPress blogs, uh, setting up an e-commerce site, uh, building a simple iOS app for people. I'll leave you with this. When you're learning how to code, even if you're doing a university program, if you're not doing a properly structured boot camp, be sure to go out there and actually start doing stuff on your own. Get into it, start building things, start experimenting. There's nothing like real world experience. There you go, I hope that helps. So if you have been applying for jobs, consider all the tips I just pointed out here, that will help you along the way. And don't give up, the first job is always the hardest again. But after like a year or so, eh, you gotta start getting some help from people. Find a mentor, uh, uh, go online, uh, join communities, uh, coder communities, maybe the people in there who will probably have jobs, a lot of them, fi find out what they say, get feedback from them, you know, start, start networking with people on, uh, on Discord channels that are related to the type of coding you want to do. So if you want to do Java coding, find a good Discord channel with a lot of Java developers. Get into Twitter. Uh, Twitter communities related to coding, uh, Facebook if there's anything there as well. Uh, you you want to become a known entity, you want to start interacting with people. Just like if you want to learn how to be a great fighter, you would join a good gym and start meeting other fighters, start training with them, start sparring with them. Same thing, if you want to get a job as, as a developer, uh, sometimes it's not as easy as just getting your degree and just finding yourself in a job. And there you go, I hope that helps, bye-bye.